of the hill can't be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, they put it on the top of a lampstand lamp and it shines on all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people so they can see the good things you do and praise your Father who is in heaven. Called be who we are. Called be who we are. In the in the Isaiah text, we have an account of the effort of the king of Assyria to to bury and intimidate Hezekiah and the people of Judah. King of Assyria is on a, on a military road, city after city, nation after nation, have fallen to his military onslaught. And he is convinced that he will be able to, to do to you, to Judah, what he has done to Israel and what he has done to other nations. And he decides that he would like to do it without having to really engage in a military campaign. And so his strategy is to surround the city with a show of force and then to send his, his messengers, amen, with a, 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 a word in their own language that, 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 that seeks to convince them that there's no use fighting, mm -hmm. but that the wise choice for them is to serve yeah. Because there is no, no way out for them. Mm -hmm. right. And he tells them, he says, now, don't, don't y'all don't listen to your leader. Don't you listen to your king. Mm -hmm. Amen. Who tells you that the Lord, your God, will protect you. Yeah. Look at the other nations. They, they serve God and none of their gods were able to protect them. Your, 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 your sister, your, your sister nation, Israel, amen. The other part of the kingdom that has been divided, they were not able to withstand me. So what makes you think that you'll be able withstand it, or that the Lord your God will protect you. Oh, well, this be your king. And he tells you that the Lord your God will protect you. The Lord your God will, 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 will make it possible for you to withstand my onslaught. Don't go listen to the, to the priests and the prophets who fill your head with this nonsense about what the Lord your God will be able to do for you. The best thing for y'all to do, amen, is to surrender to me now. And if you surrender to me now, you'll be able to save some of your lives. If you surrender to me now, you'll be able to, to enjoy a, a, a modicum of of, 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 of prosperity until I come and take you into exile. Best thing for y'all to do is to surrender to me now. Look, look at my, look at my army. Look at my, my troops. What, what, what do y'all have to match that? I'm, 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 I'm your, I'm your best hope for, for survival. And the record says that when the messengers of, of King Hezekiah returned to him with this word, that, that Hezekiah, Hezekiah ripped off his clothes yeah. and went into the put on a sackcloth, which was the, 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 the act of mourning, and, and he went into the into the house of the Lord. And, All right. And he sent his messenger, he sent his 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 his, 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 his secretary of state, his chief of staff, to, to the prophet Isaiah. And, and Isaiah said to him, Tell your 
tell your master, our king, not to worry about the king of Assyria, because the Lord has him in hand. And the Lord will put a spirit at work in him that will cause him to respond to a rumor about internal unrest at home. And, and, and he'll gather that army up and return home and he will, he will be defeated even on his own land. And then we go back to Isaiah 2 where and we heard, we're told that the Lord gave to Isaiah a word about his plan for, for, for Jerusalem, and his plan for the temple, and his plan for his people, and how he wanted to use them as a means by which he would, he, would, he would transform the world from a world of warring nations to a world where people live together in peace. My, my brothers and my sisters, once one is led by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior, once, once, once you're there to, to, to profess your faith in Jesus and to, to put him on by baptism and to enter into the covenant as part of the body of Christ, and the covenant to walk together in Christian love and, and to be the, the agents of God through whom God saves, through whom God reclaims, through whom God sanctifies, through whom God liberates, through whom God transforms. That 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 takes you out of the kingdom of the world and puts you into the kingdom of God. And once you become a part of the kingdom of God, you become a potential threat to the kingdoms of the world. Well, well, well. And I say this Sunday after Sunday because, because, because God wants to impress upon us that, that as Christians, yes, yes. We, we live in two worlds. Yes, we, we live in the world of, 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 our, of, our, of, our, of our culture, uh, which is the United States, uh, which is Western influence, and then we live in this culture of the kingdom of God. We, we have been so indoctrinated over here by the kingdoms of the world that it finds, we find it difficult to really take seriously the fact that we are also citizens of the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. And, 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 and the kingdoms of the world are always trying to do to us what the king of Assyria sought to do to Hezekiah. Amen. And to the people of Judah. To, to convince us not to take this God business but so seriously. Because the reality is that, 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 that the concerns of the kingdom of this world and the ways of the kingdom of this world are, 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 are really what's real, really what counts. And it is only as we submit to that and engage in the practices over there that we will be able to, what, make it in life. That we will be able to enjoy a, a, a modicum of, a, a, of, 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 of prosperity, a modicum of peace, a, a modicum of security. And, 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 and they tell us that if we take this, 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 this kingdom business over here too seriously, that, 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 that we, we will find it difficult to prosper, we will find it difficult to be secure, we will find it difficult to have what we really need to survive. Well, and, and that's, why, that's why we are quick to say, I hear what you're saying. But the reality is, and when we come to what the reality is, it's usually what we're told by the king of Assyria and by the king of the culture. Amen. And that's why we come here week by week, because God has to keep reminding us, yeah, y'all live over here. Yeah, y'all got to deal with over here. Amen. But 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 y'all are dealing with over here as representatives of my kingdom over here. Over here. I've called you 
were out of that, amen, into this. We have all kinds of ways of talking about it. We've been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. We've been saved from sin to righteousness. We've been saved from death to life. We've been saved from slavery to freedom. We've been saved from oppression to liberation. We are now the people of God. We are now citizens of the kingdom of heaven. And, and then we have ways of talking about what, 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 our, what, our, what our work is in relationship to the kingdom over here. Right. We, are, we, are, we are resident aliens of the colony of heaven on earth. We, we, are, we are ambassadors for Christ. Yes. God who was the seeking to, to God has reconciled us to himself. Right. And in the process of reconciling us to himself, God has given us a new way of seeing God. A new way of seeing ourselves, a new way of seeing each other, and a new way of seeing both over man. And now, says Paul, we are ambassadors of Christ, and God through us is seeking to bring folks from over there, over here. And those who are in charge of the over here. Amen. Prevent that from it. They want to hold on to the book that they got over there. And they want to bring us back from over here to over there. And if they can't do that, they want to at best neutralize us. And, and, and that's why, my brothers and sisters, there's, there's this struggle that, that work in you. Because you are wrestling, Paul says, not just against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and kingdoms of God. And I tell you, that's a, that's a heaven and hell of a struggle. And because of that situation, that means that we, the, the battle goes on at 30 different levels. There's a battle that goes on in our minds. Uh, yeah. There's a battle that goes on in our minds. That, that's, why, that's why they don't want you to read the Bible. That's why they don't want you to come to church. That's why they don't want you to hear preaching. That's why they don't want to hear you fellowshipping with one another, talking out of the scriptures. Because if you, if you, if you keep coming, if you keep, if you keep talking, things of the kingdom. If you keep if you keep reading the word of God, then your mind will be saturated with the word of God and the principles of the kingdom of God. And your faith in God will be shaken to the point that you will serve as an effective agent of God. So they got to cut you off from that. And that's why they try to keep you so busy. Consumed with the things over here. Many of us like many of us like the TV programs that they got. And I tell you, if you spend your time watching scandal, watching how to get away with murder, watching Grey's Anatomy, watching The Good Wife, huh? Watching all the stuff over here, and and you begin to believe that's the way the world works. Then you become an agent, practicing deception, practicing lying, practicing stealing, practicing murder. These things, all these things are uh, all right, because that's the way the world works. If you listen just to the news that comes down about how how nations deal with nations, amen. And and you don't you don't you don't get a dose of scripture, if you don't get fellowship with the saints, if, if you don't get word of God, right. then your mind will be so polluted yes. that they won't have to do much to just hold you over here. <laughs> and, and if you watch some of that, but you counter it with Bible, preaching, fellowship with the saints, 
yielding to the Holy Ghost so that God gets a hold of you. And, and you don't hold it, give it to over that, and you're trying to allow God to make you an ambassador, then every once in a while, the, 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 the enemy will rise up against you. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the hounds of hell and the wings of adversity will come against you. Yeah. And, 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 and they won't let you know that, that your God is not able. Mm -hmm. Lord. Your God can't save your God. Can't protect you. Your God can't provide. And if you're not careful, mm -hmm. that, 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 that message will, will, will draw you. Mm -hmm. Y'all, 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 and that's why Hezekiah shows us what to do when you get that kind of message. And that kind of message begins to grab a hold of you. Said Hezekiah ripped off his clothes. Yeah. Hezekiah wrapped himself in sackcloth, and Hezekiah went to the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then he sent representatives to the prophet of God, and, and and he said, "Tell the prophet of God what 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 I'm hearing. Tell the prophet of God what what I'm thinking. Tell the prophet of God what I'm facing." And ask Word from the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the prophet of God said, Fear not. That's what God always has to tell us when we're in these situations. Fear. Fear not. Fear not. When when the enemy seems to be so strong that there's no way of overcoming. Fear not. When when you are facing the Red Sea and mountains on are, 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 are each side of you and the, and the army of Pharaoh is racing behind you. Fear not! Yes, yes. When, 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 when King Nebuchadnezzar has heated up his furnace because you won't bow to his images and tells you that he will throw you in. Fear not! Yes, yes. When the lions are, are, the hungry lions are waiting to feast on you because you name the name of the Lord your God. Fear not! When cows are ready to move before you and there's a cross that is there, fear not! When the mighty empire of Rome says if you do not pay your taxes, if you do not fight in our armies, if you do not subscribe our way, we'll feed you the lions, we'll cut off your head, we'll hang you on crosses, and, and God's word is first of all, fear, fear not. Fear, fear, fear. And, 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 and it's important to, to, to remember all those things, Gordon, and all those things, Barbara, and all those things, Vicki, all those things that I, that, 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 that all those fear not words that have come from the Lord. Because when you find yourself in any of those situations, amen, you know that the first one that God tells you is what? Fear not. Fear not. And then when you when you when you when you go back, Brother Phillips, and, and you and you check out the scripture and you see what happened after the fear not was spoken. Right. Fear not as you stand before the sea with mountains on each side and army behind you. But go forth and stretch out your rod over the sea and walk through the sea to dry land. Watch me show you what I can do. Fear not. Fear not when, 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 when you wonder how you're going to overtake, hallelujah, a land where, where the folk are more stronger, stronger than you, and there seems to be no way. Fear not, just march around the world until the walls fall down. Fear not! Well, when the, when the fire is raging and, and they threaten to throw you in, tell him that, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, king, we, 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 all king live forever. We want you to know that our God is able to deliver you. But even if he don't, we're still not going to bow. Fear not, because when they throw you in the fire, you'll come in three and come out four. Fear not! <laughs> Fear not. Yeah. Fear not. When they stretch that cross, when they plant that cross in the ground mm -hmm. and nail you to it. Right. Until you hang your head and die. All right. Because 
find this tragic death will be followed by Sunday's glorious resurrection. Fear not! When Rome turns its power against you in 94, because in 313, I'll turn the enemy, I'll, come, I'll take an emperor and turn that around, and Rome will bow at my throne. Fear not! Fear not! Fear not! Fear not! Yeah. 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 And that's that's all prophecy. Yeah. 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 And, and then they took us back to that second chapter. He said, because here's what God is doing. God is taking you through all of this. And that God might raise you and make you the highest mountain. So that one day those that have come against you. Yeah. will recognize that as great as they think they are, I am greater. Amen. That as wise as their way is, that there is a better way. Yes. And they will come to my house, and, and they will seek my instruction, and yes. they will allow me to settle disputes, and, and as a result of that, they will, we will lay down their weapons and stay war no more. Yes. 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 And the kingdom over here will come the kingdom over here. Yes. So what do you do in the meantime? That's why Jesus said, that's why they put that gospel lesson. In the meantime, in the meantime, let your light shine. Yes. Let your light shine, hallelujah. In times of prosperity and peace, when they're not bothering with you, just let your light shine. What do you mean let your light shine? Let your light shine. Be poor in spirit, because yours will be the kingdom of heaven. What to let your light shine. Be those that mourn for the peace and comfort of the world. What does it mean? Be a peacemaker. What does it mean? Bear suffering and persecution for my name's sake. Let your light shine. So that folks will see your good works yes. and give the glory yes. to me. Well, my brothers and sisters, that's the word for today. That's the word for today. We are citizens of the kingdom of God. And we are also involved with the kingdoms of this world. The kingdoms of this world and the kingdoms of God are at odds with one another. And the kingdoms of this world are trying to own us holy. And the kingdom of God is trying to own us holy. And they intimidate us with word. And when word does not hurt, they intimidate us with action. Yes. What is to be our response? Fear not. Fear not. Trust the Lord. Yes. Do good. Let your light shine. Yes. So that men will see your good works. Yes. And if you do that, I will bring you through. Yes. If you do that, I'll help you stand. If you do that, ultimately, I will triumph. Yes. And the kingdom goes over here. We'll bow to the kingdom over here.